what's up guys welcome to the channel um the next several months on this channel we're going to be doing a build uh build i've been wanting to do for a really long time i'm super excited about it we picked this up from a guy locally here in town um i mean it's i don't even know how to explain it. i mean i've been wanting this thing since i was a kid but we are going to be doing this build here in my garage with small budget not very many tools um but we're gonna do the best we can here. Um, I've I've built you know a couple vehicles before, nothing too crazy. Um, but you know I've got a show vehicle that I'm working on still, been working on for quite a while. But um, for now we're gonna put that thing on the back burner, which is pretty funny because that's the name of the truck is back burner, the other one I built. But uh, we're gonna put it on the back burner for now, and we are going to start on this one. This build right here is gonna wind up towing that truck. Um, and honestly, this might be my new favorite. I can't promise you, but I, I think it might because I love this thing already and it's we haven't even started on it. But let me go ahead and uh, show you what we're working with and show you what we're gonna be working on for the next several months. There she is. That's the build, guys. She is big. She barely fits in here. But we got some room to work with, so we're going to just make do with what we got. Um, tonight, we're going to start by pulling this bed off. Um, we're going to build some kind of a contraption that I can use with my cherry picker. Get it in there and get this bed off. Uh, I'm going to start body working the bed. These fenders, I don't know if you see these things, but they are pretty rough. Um, the inside of the bed needs to be, you know, scuffed up re redone um you know there's there's a lot of body work that needs to be done and i think we're going to tackle that first uh, we're going to do body work before we really worry about an engine or transmission or you know anything like that um we're going to do body work then probably move on to interior um things like that so let's uh let's go ahead and get this video started with building something so let's i got some two by fours out back i took off of my deck Something we had just laying around. I'm going to try to work something out with that. Um, I don't know how it's going to hold because it this bed is huge and it's heavy. So we might have to double stack two by fours or something. I don't know. We'll just we'll just kind of figure it out as we go. So. And I'm getting mighty tired of your traveling ways and of listening to that jackass Bray. <laughs>
make a trip to um, tractor supply, as you've seen. Get some big bolts. I was trying to figure out a way to get these boards in here because I have to make it basically like an H um, for structure purposes. And I was trying to figure out if I was going to get the board in there, but I can still twist them because, you know, they're longer than what the bed rails are. It's a little bit wider. So I figured out a way where I could get it in there and like twist it in. So I figured if I bolt it in, here, I'll flip the camera around here. If I bolt them in right dead center like this, then I can take this whole piece, this whole bar here, and I can just turn it. I just twist it side to side so I can get to where I need to go. So we're going to try that, and hopefully that works, and we can get this bed off pretty soon. Let, let me get to that, and uh, I'll get right back to you guys here in a minute. So it looks like we ran into a little bit of a problem. The cherry picker or engine hoist or whatever you guys want to call it, it pretty much, uh, yeah, it's hitting tires. So it looks like I'm going to have to take the tires off to get it in there. And it most likely probably the fender. Because I'm afraid that once I get to the middle and start dragging this thing up, it's going to want to swing on me. And I don't want to smash this fender and any, beat it up any worse than it already is. So... I think we're gonna have to take the wheel off, take that fender out or off, and then I should give me enough room to get this in way farther. So if it does swing, it's not gonna damage this fender. This is fiberglass, it's not metal, so it will definitely crack in a whole bunch of pieces. So um, I think we're gonna go ahead and probably finish this thing up tomorrow. It's getting pretty late. I gotta work in the morning. Um, I'm, I'm doing this build after hours, so I don't have quite a time, you know, a lot of time to do this stuff. I'm working full time, plus doing this at night when I get off. So, you know, this, it may take a while to get this done, but we're going to get her done though, for sure. Don't, don't worry about that. We'll, as long as you stay watching, you guys subscribe and stay tuned and hit that notification button so you can see whenever this stuff comes up. But, uh, I think we're going to call her a night, but this is what I went up building, by the way. This thing turns. So basically I can get it in there and I can twist it and turn it whenever I need it to to get it in place. Here, we'll show you with this one here. You just take this piece and you can... I can pretty much twist it however I need to to get it to move. And we're going to take this chain here and... Get this chain wrapped around here. I'm going to try to lift that up and put it on there and hopefully this does it. It's a pretty big bed. I'm, it's kind of heavy so... I'm a little worried it might not work but... Hey, whatever. There's only all you can do is try. And... So, that's it for the night. Uh, we'll come back tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll get this bed off. We'll get uh, this truck probably. We'll probably pull it out once we get the bed off so I can pull in another vehicle. Plus, I got cars I'm going to be working on here and there, you know, after hours. So, I'm going to need this garage. So, we're going to pull this thing out once we get the bed off. Set the bed off to the side of the other side of the garage here. Um, that way we can do some body work on it as much as we need to. Um... But tomorrow, we'll finish this up. We'll get the bed off. Um, I got, Like I said, I got to take that fender off and that tire out. So we'll probably do that tomorrow night when we get back and then pull the bed. So hopefully, we can get that done tomorrow night and kind of get
get it off and get everything done when we get the truck out and start working on it soon. So, um, for that, but other than that, guys, I appreciate you watching. Um, hit that subscribe button and please, uh, come back and finish this because I'm telling you, it's going to be an awesome build. Also, I don't know the name of this. I don't have a name for this build yet. Um, if you guys maybe comment something, come up with, help me come up with some kind of a name for it, then that'd be awesome. Appreciate it. And have a good night, guys. Thanks.